Dozens of hotel workers and community leaders gathered at a Santa Monica Marriott on Wednesday to protest the allegedly unfair firing of a worker who tested positive for COVID-19. Margarita Santos, who worked as a housekeeper at the JW Marriott Santa Monica La Marigot for nine years, claims she was unfairly terminated. Hotel management countered, saying she worked several days before telling anyone she was sick. The 64-year-old Northridge resident, who worked a Tuesday through Saturday schedule at the hotel, said she began having headaches in late July and informed her supervisor she wasn't feeling well. Santos said she was given aspirin, although the headaches persisted for two more days before she was finally sent home. When she called the hotel's Human Resources Department, Santos claims they told her to buy a thermometer and get tested for COVID-19. Santos alleges management told her to say she had come in contact with a hotel guest who had the virus in order to speed her test results. She was fired July 31 and her health benefits were discontinued after she tested positive for the virus. I feel completely devastated and abandoned by the company, Santos said through a translator. When I needed them most, they let me go. The Santa Monica Hotel is owned by Columbia Sussex, a private, Kentucky-based corporation that owns and operates hotels in 20 states under the Hilton, Hyatt and Marriott brands. Unite Here Local 11, which represents housekeeping workers at the hotel, has filed an unfair labor practice charge asking the National Labor Relations Board to investigate whether Santos was fired in retaliation for her activism to secure greater protections and higher pay for housekeeping workers in Santa Monica. The employees recently voted to join Unite Here, but have yet to sign a contract. Hotel manager Damien Hirsch tells a different story. In the July 31 termination letter he sent to Santos, Hirsch said Santos clocked in for work on July 22 and told housekeeping supervisors she had a fever and had been ill for three days with a cough, headache and burning eyes. When asked why she continued to work knowing her symptoms, Santos said she didn't want to lose hours and needed to work, according to the termination letter. Hirsch said Santos was sent home and called later that day to say she had a temperature of 102 one and had tested positive for coronavirus. She had previously undergone COVID-19 safety and prevention training, the letter said, as well as ongoing training. Your egregious behavior and conscious disregard for the safety and health of others is completely unacceptable, the letter said. For these reasons, we are terminating your employment with La Marigot Hotel, effective July 31, 2020. Santos claims her COVID-19 training was ineffective. It was all in English, and I don't speak fluent English, she said. I couldn't ask questions because I didn't know what they were saying.